Gen Alpha is the definition of brain rot. iPad kids are truly out of control. But it's not so much Gen Alpha who is to blame, it's more the parents. We're iPad parents. If you try to give us some kind of advice and you don't have kids... <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, do you remember being a child? Do you remember going outside, running your toes through the green grass, touching the bark on trees, stuffing mud in your mouth? Those were the days, baby. Like, I used to go out into the wilderness, catch an ant, and call it Dave, my new pet. I used to go out and try to find the correct geometrically shaped rock, draw a face on it, and call it my new friend, although that sounds more sad than anything. Now children can't even have a haircut without being glued to the screen. I mean, look at the mother standing there scrolling on YouTube shorts. I give it about a hundred years before the shape of the human skeleton changes forever. Of course, I'm not saying it's all parents and all kids, but there's a big portion in our society who cannot put their phone down for even a second. Let alone one phone, this kid needs two phones to stimulate his dopamine receptors. He's playing Minecraft, attacking some wolves, and scrolling on TikTok at the same time. Where's the parent, you might ask? Behind her phone, recording and laughing about it. <laughs> You're raising the definition of brain rot right here. Dopamine levels are now lower than they've ever been in the history of human evolution. And instead of the parents sitting there and bonding with their child or having an emotional relationship with them, they just give them an iPad to shut the f*** up. But I also don't believe that the iPad is the main problem as much as it is the apps that's on the device. I mean, TikTok and Roblox is the go-to for an iPad kid. And not so long ago, there was a TikTok that was created, which has since been deleted, about a mother who claims that they are iPad parents. And that gave off a lot of mixed emotions within the comment section. We're iPad parents. If you try to give us some kind of advice and you don't have kids, We're not gonna listen to you. Haha, <laughs> yeah, it's so funny, isn't it, when your child doesn't even have the attention span for a conversation with his grandmother. I don't need kids to be able to criticize your parenting style, okay? It pees me off. iPad parents act like it's impossible to raise kids without them. I'm 18 and I grew up without access to that kind of tech. If I was grounded, my mum would take my Xbox away from me and I'd sob a little bit, you know, oh, we can't play Black Ops 2 now or whatever. But I would say, well, f it. I'll just go outside and ride my bike. Not anymore, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Kids are throwing tantrums and hitting their parents because they took the iPad away from them. I mean, look at this parent and kid, ladies and gentlemen. This kid apparently had way too much energy before bed, so what did the parent do? And well, he plugged in his iPad, attached a rope to it, tied it around the child's body and told him, if you run fast enough, you will charge your iPad indefinitely. And look how fast this kid is running. <laughs> I mean, that child probably doesn't even run that fast when he's playing with his friends. Now, of course, the TikTok is funny and it's an interesting concept. However, if you take a step back and just realize this child is literally sprinting as fast as he can just to charge his electronic for the next day, it's a pretty sad sight when you think about it. Maybe don't give him an iPad. Or take the iPad away and let him play so he doesn't have so much energy at the end of the day. I mean, yeah, that would make sense. There's not really that much energy being used when you're sat there all day with your head like this, just watching TikToks and more, and dopamine is just flooding constantly. Honestly, this is exactly what Gen Alpha is gonna look like in 10 years. They're gonna watch a movie and they're just sitting there, driving around on this automatic robotic scooter with the, this fucking Oculus Rift or whatever you call it, watching another movie while they're watching a movie, watching TikTok while they're being stimulated driving around. Stimulated? That's a bit, that sounded weird. That was the wrong word. <laughs> There's just no energy being used. There's not even a brain cell being used in that moment. I mean, this kid is literally laying down on the floor crying and pretending to scroll on TikTok because that's how much he needs it. Now, the parents raising Gen Alpha is probably millennials and a little bit of Gen Z. They probably grew up with very strict parents who was constantly disciplining them and they thought to themselves, you know what? I don't want my child to go through that. I just, I'm not gonna discipline my child, okay? I'm, I'm not gonna teach my child anything. I'm not gonna be strict to them. They can do what the hell they want so they can have a great childhood. Yeah, looks like a great childhood. There's nothing stopping that child from standing up, 
going outside, finding a large stick, and pretending it's a wooden sword. But that's the problem when you hand a child an iPad at the age of like four years old. They know nothing else because the parents couldn't be asked to deal with the responsibility. So now we've got iPads raising kids. God fucking help us. It won't be long before kids start moving like Roblox characters. A kid will come up to me one day asking me how he changes his skin in the loadout menu. Like I said, the apps are the problem, not so much the iPad itself. You can put some sort of learning app on their iPad and that will be great for their brain development. But if you're just putting it on their YouTube shorts, TikTok and Roblox, I mean, they're destined just for pure brain rot right there. And you can't say that's not an issue. That is just tragic. It's such a sad life to live. And their behavior is being reflected in school, in class, and many teachers have spoken out about it. Even this girl who volunteered at preschools has something to say about it. Preschools, mind you. This is my folder of crying teachers, and they are confused and frightened by the behavior of Gen Alpha. I mean, to be honest, I'd be terrified too. I mean, they're just the pure rage in their eyes. Looks like they're about to rip my face off and wear as a skin mask. They're saying Gen Alpha is defiant, aggressive, disrespectful, and rude. I saw this video of a girl who taught five-year-olds ballet, and she said that they were requesting to twerk to Pound Town. And this is true. I volunteered at preschools for years, and I noticed a behavioral shift in that time. My mom is a behavioral analyst, and she constantly talks about how Gen Alpha has the worst behavioral defects she's ever seen. Here's what I think. I think the millennials raising this generation, who were raised by boomers and Gen X themselves, are trying to overcorrect the way they were raised. I had students who were constantly talking about MILFs and Discord kittens and gods. I mean, I should have just, I should have just uploaded this TikTok as the video. Forget me, this just should have been the video. If you don't know what gat is, it just means ass, and I've never really, I've never really invested in this side of like, the new wave of like, words. And kids in a ballet class requesting to listen to Pound Town and twerk to it. If that doesn't sound problematic, I don't know what is. When you're setting your kids up by handing them iPads to make them shut up, like it's the very resource and gateway to these harmful rabbit holes, which over time can lead to porn addiction, hypersexuality, all these issues that run rampant in younger generations. And you're putting your literal four-year-old in this game of Russian roulette. And I could go on forever about the role that tech plays and how it's literally making us unable to interact with other people, but that'll take too long. Long story short, put your kids in the woods. Teach them how to climb a tree. I mean, how does it make you feel, ladies and gentlemen, when I say that most of these kids will never experience a paper cut on their fingertip in their life. Do you know how much that shit hurts? Oh, you know, when I was a kid, I used to get these stains all over my white jumper from rolling down a hill. You know what that is, child? No, they will never know. It's a grass stain, okay? Allow your kid's behavior to go unchecked and laugh it off as cute or an independent personality. You're setting them up for failure. It feels like a lot of these parents are trying to find an easy way out of parenting, so they handed their kids iPads to make them shut up, never implemented any rules or guidance because they didn't know how, and blamed their so socially inept child's disrespectful behavior on teachers not understanding. And don't you dare flood my comments about what if they're neurodivergent. This is about behavioral defects caused by parenting and technology exposure. It's not about that. I have severe ADHD, my brother has autism. I get it, I get it. This isn't about us. But if your child is the common denominator of a history of defiance, they're the problem. Your parenting is the problem. And she makes a great point when she says that iPad parents find the child's behavior cute and independent. What, this? I mean, is that really the best thing that children can do with their hands these days? Is just f hold a screen to their face. I mean, I can do this, yeah, and I, and I and I'm pretty proud of that. I've been watching for over 12 hours today. Give me your iPad. And this kid right here is a great example. Apparently, he's been on his iPad for 12 hours, but as a child, stuck to a screen, not experiencing life in general. Look what happens when this parent or sibling takes away the child's iPad. Give me your iPad. <laughs> I mean, just the pure rage over an iPad. I don't think I've ever been this angry in my life. And he's hitting his cousin with a teddy bear, pushing the chair over, just blinded by anger and hatred. He is the modern day Anakin Skywalker. Now in superhero movies, the cliche is usually the kid's parents dies and then either becomes a superhero or a super villain. In Gen Alpha's day and age, take the iPad away from them. And that's how you create a villain. Things I've noticed about teaching Gen Alpha. Oh my goodness. My name's Cassandra. I used to be a teacher, left in 2020, I'm back in now. The biggest difference, teaching Gen Alpha, 
they do not care about authority. <laughs> it's wild. I mean, yeah, that's pretty obvious. And the reasoning is, is because in that child's household, the word authority is not in the parents' vocabulary. These kids can barely read. They can barely fucking read. And y'all arguing so they can stay standing on business in the middle of class instead of fully articulating thoughts. Some of them are... 1415 still putting because BCUZ in a freaking essay and they're dead ass serious and they don't even see it. I mean, they can't even spell. Parents, what are you doing? If your child can't spell the word because by the age of 15, 16, you got some serious issues, pal. And that's what it is, ladies and gentlemen. Parents who can't be asked to raise their children, so they hand them an iPad instead, and the iPad does the raising for them. Like, imagine Jen Alpha in high school taking an exam on Romeo and Juliet in English literature. And there they were, as clear as day. Romeo straight up risen Juliet with her fat gat. That should be bussin'. She saw phantom tax, skibbity toilet. I mean, that's just where we're heading, isn't it? That's exactly what poetry is gonna look like in about 50 years' time. I thought kids are out of control. Teachers all over the globe are reporting that Gen Alpha, which are the kids raised with this new age technology, are performing two times lower than their grade level. I teach seventh grade, they are still performing on the fourth grade level. They can't read or write properly. Not only that, but the rate of teachers quitting has never been been higher due to Gen Alpha's terrifying behavior, which is aggressive and defiant. Having to teach and work with you guys as children has been the most traumatic experience of my life. I mean, I'm not surprised. I mean, just from looking how six-year-olds are responding when their iPads are taken away from them, it's causing a huge issue globally. Like, what do the pa like what do the parents do? When the child comes home and they get a call from the teacher saying, by the way, your kid is performing two grades lower than his actual level. What do you say then? Oh, okay. Um, yeah, we'll, we'll solve the problem, no worries. Dylan, why are you performing so low on level? <laughs> okay, here's an iPad. Let me know what you guys are thinking about Gen Alpha, what you think the problem is, how should the parents respond to this, let me know. And if you want to check out my other videos, I'm sure you're going to enjoy these ones. This one is about a girl who faked her entire life on the internet, and this one is about a girl who faked having a miscarriage. So yeah.